To set high standards for someone else and then not live up to them yourself is something that God truly hates. But it pleases Him when we apply the right standards of measurement. When you act with presumption, convinced that you're right, don't be surprised if you fall flat on your face. But walking in humility helps you to make wise decisions. Integrity will lead you to success and happiness, but treachery will destroy your dreams. When Judgment Day comes, all the wealth of the world won't help you one bit. So you'd better be rich in righteousness, for that's the only thing that can save you in death. Those with good character walk on a smooth path with no detour or deviation. But the wicked keep falling because of their own wickedness. Integrity will keep a good man from falling. But the unbeliever is trapped, held captive to his sinful desires. When an evil man dies, all hope is lost or his misplaced confidence goes in the coffin and gets buried along with him. Lovers of God are snatched away from trouble, and the wicked show up in their place. The teachings of hypocrites can destroy you, but revelation knowledge will rescue the righteous. The blessing that rests on the righteous releases strength and favor to the entire city but shouts of joy will be heard when the wicked one dies. The blessing of favor resting upon the righteous influences a city to lift it higher, but wicked leaders tear it apart by their words. To quarrel with a neighbor is senseless. Bite your tongue, be wise, and keep quiet. You can't trust gossipers with a secret They'll just go blab it all. Put your confidence instead in a trusted friend, for he will be faithful to keep it in confidence. People lose their way without wise leadership, but a nation succeeds and stands in victory when it has many good counselors to guide it. The evil man will do harm when confronted by a righteous man because he hates those who await good news. A gracious, generous woman will be honored with a splendid reputation, but the woman who hates the truth lives surrounded with disgrace and by men who are cutthroats, only greedy for money. A man of kindness attracts favor, while a cruel man attracts nothing but trouble. Evil people may get a short-term gain, but to sow seeds of righteousness will bring a true and lasting reward. A son of righteousness experiences the abundant life, but the one who pursues evil hurries to his own death. The Lord can't stand the stubborn heart bent toward evil, but he treasures those whose ways are pure Assault your neighbor, and you will certainly be punished. But God will rescue the children of the godly. A beautiful woman who abandons good morals is like a fine gold ring dangling from a pig's snout. True lovers of God are filled with longings for what is pleasing and good, but the wicked can only expect doom. Generosity brings prosperity, but withholding from charity brings poverty. Those who live to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them, and the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with favor. People will curse the businessman with no ethics, but the one with a social conscience receives praise from all. Living your life seeking what is good for others brings untold favor, 
but those who wish evil for others will find it coming back on them. Keep trusting in your riches and down you'll go. But the lovers of God rise up like flowers in the spring. The fool who brings trouble to his own family will be cut out of the will, and the family servant will do better than he. But a life lived loving God bears lasting fruit, for the one who is truly wise wins souls. If the righteous are barely saved, what's in store for all the wicked? <laughs>